I'm Paweł Spechalski and welcome to the next video in the INA 5 on the Flying Wing series. Today, let's configure GPS and failsafe. A short note, a GPS is only an optional sensor. You do not have to have GPS to have amazing flying INAV setup. However, it simplifies quite a few things. First of all, it's harder to lose your model in case of the failsafe. And second of all, it just gives you this extra confidence when flying. The GPS configuration starts in the outputs tab because you have to select to which serial port you've connected your GPS receiver. In my case, it's serial port 2 so you most probably will have to select in the drop down the GPS option and leave everything else by default. However, in my case, I have the GPS that communicates over the MSP protocol, so I will have to select the MSP on the serial port too. However, this is specific to my setup and in your setup, most probably it will be the sensor GPS on the default baud rate. Like always, save and reboot. Now let's go to the GPS tab and first of all let's decide on the protocol. All the modern GPS units support the Ublox protocol, so try this one by default. However, whatever you do, try to avoid the NEMA protocol because it's really the obsolete protocol that works basically only with the very legacy modules. Yes, the Ublox module will switch to the NMEA if you really want to, but it makes no sense, so go with Ublox. And if you have M8 or newer, you might even try the Ublox 7. However, me, because I have this very specific setup, I have to select the MSP protocol for the GPS. You, however, most probably will be just fine with the Ublox. Then you have two options. Option number one is to select ground assistant type. You might select, you might not select. I'm usually setting this to auto and everything works just fine. And decide if to use the Galileo satellites. It makes sense if you are in Europe because the Galileo has the best coverage over Europe. I am in Europe, so I will select the Galileo satellites. I'm not usually setting the time zone. However, you might if you really want to. And finally, let's enable the GPS and save and reboot. If the GPS module was correctly connected and configured, you will see the blue GPS icon. That means that INAV is communicating with the module. It doesn't mean that the GPS module has a fix or will ever get the fix. It only means that the communication between INAV flight controller and the GPS module is working. GPS fix might or might not happen. Luckily, in my case, I have a very nice GPS GPS 3D fix with already known position and 10 satellites tracking while inside of the building. And also the position is set on the map over here. With GPS connected, configured and working, we can go to the next step, which is failsafe. And yes, failsafe is super important. Because failsafe is such a critical thing, my advice is do not overthink it. And here in the failsafe tab, only decide if we want to drop, land or return to home. The rule of a thumb is that if you have the GPS, you want to use return to home because then in case of the failsafe, the airplane will just go home, circle down and land. And when you do not have the GPS, it will be either drop or land. What's interesting, in case of fixed wing, the drop and the land procedures are very similar because while drop will kill the motors immediately but keep the servo stabilization, the land will keep the motors running for two seconds and then kill the stabilization. However, with the default 1000 microsecond throttle output, with the motor stop, the motor will stop either way. This is why in case of the model without the GPS, I just leave it on drop and then just try not to go into the failsafe at all. Now it's time to test if the failsafe is working. Step one, turn on the radio. Step two, go to the receiver tab and verify that the radio is working and that the parachute here on top is not red. Then 
turn off the radio and verify that after roughly one second the parachute changes to red. This means that the INA flight controller was able to detect the failsafe and will act accordingly during the real flight. That's all in this video. In the next one we will go into the PIDs and rates. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!